have in front of me is street light fitting for an 80 watt LED street light. It has a 90 degree bend, which we can see here, and it has um, a 60 millimeter entry here. So this is 60 millimeter ready to go directly into a 60 millimeter entry uh, LED light. So typically what we have here is, we have a pole, we'll say that 76 millimeter would be most um, light poles, and you need, normally need to step down, we'll say, to a 60 millimeter. So you might use a spigot like this. You drop the light fitting directly onto it, you loosen up the lock nuts here, slides down and you lock it into position then. Then using this um, uh, bend here, what you can do is you can tilt down the line or tilt it up. And what you can do is you can just hold up the light that you have here, slide it directly on. Uh, and So this thing here sits 60 millimeters, but in reality it's about 63 or 4 millimeters, which means it can slide on smoothly and then get locked into position, okay? So overall, we'll say it's, um, it's a very neat solution. Now, how are lights normally mounted? Well, normally when you're mounting your lights, you'll have something to be more similar to, I suppose, this, which would be, um, this would be a typical 60 millimeter one here. Just move it out of the way, where you just slide it out, put the light in the end, and it's giving you an off stand of about 50 millimeters, or five, 50 centimeters away from the light. So you want to keep it away. But sometimes you want to have the lights much closer to the bracket, because it could be over an entrance point, a footpath, something like that, where projecting the light isn't what you're trying to do, you're trying to keep it tight to where the pole is. And something like that, you will want to have the light measured connecting onto it. So something like this is a great solution in those type of situations. So that's it anyway, an overview of street light fitting uh, for an 80 watt uh, street light uh, with a 60 millimeter entry.